Hello, and warm greetings. My name is Mariusz Pilipchuk, and I am a product engineer at VTS. In today's video tutorial, I will tell you about the Volcano EC controller, which is designed for all volcano air heaters with electrically commutated EC motors. I will now show you how the Volcano EC controller allows us to enter the advanced programming settings. By holding the M and plus buttons for about 5 seconds, we move to the advanced settings. Calibrate the temperature sensor. Choose between the cooling and the heating mode. Set the minimum temperature. Set the maximum temperature. Set the hysteresis differential. Set the temperature in the economy mode. Choose between the economy mode and the antifreeze mode. The actual temperature is displayed. Here we can see change the value of output signals, the day of the week, the hour, the minutes, the mode bus address, the mode bus speed, parity and oddity, screen lock, and return to the default settings. In the calibration setting, we can increase or decrease the set temperature by 8 degrees Celsius in increments of one half Celsius degree. In the next setting, we use the plus or the minus button so that we can determine which temperature is to be displayed on the main screen, either cooling and heating, just cooling, or just heating. In the next setting, we can set the minimum temperature possible for the Volcano EC controller. The minimum is 5 degrees Celsius. By pressing the M button, we move to the next setting where we can set the maximum possible temperature, which is 40 degrees Celsius. Press the M button to move to the differential hysteresis setting. In this setting, we determine the difference between the set temperature and the actual temperature in the room that will result in the device switching on. For example, if we had set our hysteresis differential at 0.5 degrees and we have a set temperature of 20 degrees, the device will switch on when the actual room temperature reaches 19.5 degrees. The Volcano EC controller gives us the possibility to also set the economic temperature, which will be set outside the programmed heating periods, and also gives us the possibility of setting the antifreeze temperature. We have a choice between 2 and 22 degrees Celsius, and this will be our set temperature for the economy mode and for the antifreeze protection of the heat exchanger. By pressing the M button, I go to the next setting, Number seven, the protection setting, where I have the option of turning on the economy setting and the antifreeze setting or turning them off. Setting the antifreeze temperature of the Volcano EC controller protects our heat exchanger from freezing. The temperature we have set in setting six will be the limit temperature. If the room temperature falls below this temperature, the two-way valve automatically opens and allows the heating agent to heat the exchanger and protect it from freezing.
Economy mode and set temperature from setting 6 allows us to maintain the given temperatures outside of the pre-programmed heating period. By pressing the M button, we go to the next setting in which we have the possibility of choosing which temperature will be displayed on the main screen, either the set temperature or the actual room temperature. Button M and the next setting. The ninth advanced setting of the Volcano EC controller allows us to increase the value of the output signal. For example, if the preset temperature cannot be reached or is not reached in the automatic setting, we can change the value of the output signal. We suggest plus 1 volts for objects with a surface area of 150 to 250 meters squared, plus 2 for objects with a surface area of 250 to 400 meters squared, plus 3 for objects of surface area 400 to 600 meters squared, plus 4 volts for objects larger than 600 meters squared. Zero volts is the default setting, which does not increase the output signal of our controller. In the next setting, by using the plus or minus button, we can set the day of the week, the hour, and the minutes. The Volcano EC controller gives me the possibility to connect to the BMS system. In the advanced settings, we have the ability to choose the address of the device. We also have the ability to change the speed of the transferred information and we have the ability to select the parity or oddity of the BMS system connection. Another setting is the screen lock setting. You can lock or unlock it. In 17, default settings, we can return to the default settings by pressing the plus button. To confirm all of our chosen settings, press the on-off button and restart the controller which has already memorized our settings. The Volcano EC controller is a device that meets the highest quality and functional standards. In addition to what I have discussed, the controller also has the possibility of connecting the external NTC temperature sensors. It additionally has the possibility of connecting to external BMS system via the Modbus RTU protocol. But most importantly, one controller can connect eight Volcano EC devices.